Okay, maybe this is what we need right here. What I'm gonna do, all the bees are right here, all the ones that I'm concerned about. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to use my trusty dusty tricks and remove the queen first. All right, the queen is attached. She's in a little box in here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and get this box up I gotta get this can up first. This can's got syrup in it. As soon as I get the syrup out and the queen out. Oh, wait a minute, that's what I forgot. Let me give these girls something to think about besides getting out and getting excited. This is just sugar water. And what it does, it just gives them something to think about. Calms them down a little bit. Okay, now they're in there going, hey, there's sugar water. And they're gonna calm down. They do that naturally. It just gives them something to think about besides all this other stuff that's going on. So I'm going to see if I can't get this thing under here and ever so gently lift this can out. This is the first time that I've ever use this particular method right here all right and I get the can to the top as you can see it is waxed and sealed itself in there good they're not usually this hard to hard to get out actually they usually come out and your problem is keeping the bees in. Now I got an extra problem because it's gonna come out and I'm still going to keep the bees in because they're not ready to be released yet. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, we got a few out, but not many. This can is almost empty. They have really put the kahootas on it. Okay. Next, I'm gonna get the queen out. Okay, now we've got the queen. We're gonna look in here to verify she's alive. There she is, she's got a few workers with her. Right there, there she is, there's the queen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna position her. We gotta take this, this cork right here out. This is one with sugar cube in it. So we're gonna pop this cork out. And when we do, that sugar cube will be exposed. And once the sugar cube is exposed, there we go, boop. All right, now the sugar cube is exposed in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her between these two frames that have the, uh, that have a little bit of comb on them. They don't have as much as I'd wanted. I, I really was wanting to have much more than I ended up getting. But we're gonna turn them like this so that I, when I come back out here, I'll be able to look in here and see whether or not she's escaped or not. And then we're ready. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover these bees and we're gonna walk away. I know you're never supposed to turn your back to the camera, right? Never back to the audience. Okay, now one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I do seal this thing up here so that it don't fall down. It falls down it won't be the end of the world but it won't be good either now I'd hold it right there where it belongs now the Queen's in here her pheromones are over here and now they've just got a bigger box than they had before and boom, that is actually, I learned that from Glenn, it's actually the easiest I've ever had them things work out like that with the least amount of bees moving. You see there ain't no bees out here moving. That is awesome. That means that I got 
99.99 something percent of them in the box, which is where I wanted them. I'm just gonna leave this can here and let them, they'll clean it up. I'll put it like this. The bees will come and clean it up. And then in a few days, when it gets clear again, I'll come back and uh, we got some more bee work we gotta get done. We got to work on these main hives over here a little bit. We're gonna be getting them, uh, we're gonna be getting them some, uh, some stuff on there. Uh, and I'm gonna be, I'll be taping that for you too. All right. We just put in a three pound package of bees into a brand new hive. Bees with Clell. God bless you.